What's up everybody, Jordan here, back with another video. And uh, we still got some snow on the ground, but it's somewhat turning into slop here, which is probably my least favorite thing. Really don't like when the yard gets all mucked up and the dogs get crazy muddy, tires get crazy muddy. It's a little too warm for this snow to stick around for too long, but I'm sure more is on the way eventually. We're gonna start the video today in the Kenworth truck, so. If you watched the last video on the channel, you saw us load the Peterbilt truck on the back hopper for wheat and get stuck trying to move it in this snow. But the Kenworth was also filled later that day. I'm gonna take it in right now. So this one's all wheat. The Peterbilt was half soybeans, half wheat. And this is just a little part of all the wheat that we sold. One load tonight for this video anyways. And truck's been going all day. We'll get her started up and get this wheat to town. Hope to get all this wheat hauled by Thanksgiving. That's kind of the pressing time thing here to be able to access all the bins that are gonna get snowed in and to avoid having to truck in the cold weather, winter winds and everything like that. So thank you for watching another video and let's get started. I think I'll roll the intro today. See you after. What's up, Kenny? Everybody back home getting dark already 5 30 or something like that and uh, have a surprise for you guys here in this video if you made it through this far watching me truck back and forth like a real amateur we built this duck coop I brought it over the very first video I ever did on this YouTube channel that was farm related the initial plan was to get ducks right away we decided not to because my wife was pregnant with our son and uh, we put it off a little bit and the surprise today is we have an occupant. Let's go see, it might be kind of dark, but we'll still be able to see who's in here. 
Ah, 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 ah. Hello. There they are. Hello, chickens. Starting from the top, we have Gerbert, bottom left, White Hen, Clarice, Rooster in the middle with all his ladies, Henner, and next to him we have Hennifer, and then Chunkers and Funkers are next to Hennifer. And I'm looking for eggs right now before I go in, see if we got any goodies. We had three yesterday, and two, because we have two fake eggs. Two of these brown ones are fakes uh, to get them to lay in these nesting boxes. And we have two fresh ones, it looks like. So thank you guys. You guys turned in early today. Got to make sure they're not laying eggs anywhere else. Looks like they're doing what they need to do. I don't see anything. All right, so let's collect these eggs. This feels like the fake egg. Sorry for stealing your eggs, but thank you. So the chickens are already turned in for the night. They're kind of stuck in the coop right now because kind of homing them. Those are actually my brother's chickens and we are watching them for the winter. Because we have this coop set up here. Uh, it's fun so far, it's only been a few days, but this is kind of the trial run if we want a bird of our own in there. But the eggs are a nice touch, so we'll see how that works out. I wanted to introduce you guys to the addition to the backyard farm, the first animal we ever have had. And time to go eat some dinner. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, everybody, a couple days later, we had a super windy day. Didn't get a whole lot of work done. Been kind of sloppy and gross with the snow melting. Pretty much gone now, nothing really on the ground. The grass is actually still green. Happy you guys can meet the chickens though. Excited about that. Got this little roll of chicken wire, which I think it might be a little bit short, but hopefully it's gonna work just to put some kind of little chicken run around that shed. My sister-in-law says that if I shake a container of mealworms, they will follow me and come to me if I call them. But I don't trust them or myself uh, for that to actually happen. And didn't really wanna be chasing chickens around if it's zero degrees. So thinking about putting up a little fence around the shed to let them out and let some air into that shed. About to head over to the farm again here on the second half of this video. I believe today, due to all of the wheat loads we've been hauling in to town, it's time to clean out the bin with the drag auger shovels, brooms. It's not a big bin, but we do have to get everything over there hooked up and loaded out. So probably doing a little bit of bin clean out today. And uh, one of those things you just gotta push through and get done. It's a lot easier with the ground a little bit more frozen. Won't get stuck this time. I think the Kenworth's on its way into town. I saw it circling the yard before I came over here. The Peterbilt's all set up. And uh, I think this is what's going on today. We just get this started and should be good to go. Let's look at the bin and see what's going on. Well, he got a lot done. He got the drag auger stuff over here. I just need to set this up, I guess, when I kind of get a clear pit over there and start running this auger around. So shouldn't be too bad, I guess. It's not a big bin. Shouldn't need too many pieces of that auger. We'll fire it all up, time-lapse the whole thing, and get this wheat into pieces. 